everyone, welcome back to our official Opera YouTube channel. Today we're going to be answering one of your most asked questions how to choose between our natural and sculpted tips. The Gelix system is meant to be a fast and easy full cover soft gel extension system that's meant to cut your time in half. Now, how do we do that? We created tips that are easy to use, versatile, and extremely durable. Gelix tips come in four signature shapes and three standard lengths. So each shape comes in three lengths, short, medium, or long. Now to further that distinction, because every customer is unique, we have two different styles of tips for every shape, which would be our sculpted and natural line. So what's the difference between our natural and sculpted tips? Our natural tips are better for normal flatter, wider nail beds and sculpted tips are better for customers who have curved rounded nail beds. So with a full cover tip system, you really have to be careful of the area at the base of the tip because that's usually the area that starts lifting if that happens. Choosing the style depends on your client's natural nail shape and today we're going to teach you how to decide which style is best for you and your client. With the Gelix system, it's recommended to use the correct tip shape for the correct service. If your client wants to do a short nail, instead of taking a medium or long length and then cutting it down to a short length, it's better and easier to just use a short length. If they want a long length, just use a long tip. With that same idea, you should always examine your client's natural nail before you apply the tips to determine which type of tips that they'll need. The tips are very versatile. However, for customers like me who have very rounded curved nail beds, I can only use a sculpted line of tips. However, people with flatter, wider nail beds, they actually have the option of being able to use natural or sculpted tips. They can use sculpted tips on their nails if they want that more higher apex, deeper C curve, fake acrylic nail look if they choose to. So here we are going to take a closer look at exactly what we are referring to when we see the terms natural and sculpted. Here's a nail that upon examination looks to be a normal natural nail. Natural as in the nail bed has a flatter, wider surface. Why the tip style is so important when using a system like Gel X is because we've already tried to do most of the work for you. Whereas other systems, it is up to you as a nail technician to properly blend and sculpt the product onto each individual fingernail, customized to each client's specifications. Gel X is an all-in-one system that is meant to save you time and money. Using the incorrect tip style results in you having to put more elbow grease into getting the fit and shape right defeating the purpose of using the Gelex system. As mentioned earlier, both our natural and sculpted line of tips can be used on a normal nail bed. Because the sculpted tips have a higher apex and deeper C-curve, when you lay the tips onto the normal nail bed, you will notice a lot more empty space in between the nail bed and the Gelex tip. This is normal and should be left intact. If you push down the tip and try to flatten it to try to make it fit the nail better, you're ruining the perfect shape and apex that will be created once the extend gel fills in that empty space. Now, we are going to show you the difference between the natural and sculpted tips on me. I have very curved rounded nail beds and I can only use the sculpted tips. I could theoretically use the natural tips, but it will take the nail technician so much more steps to try to make the tips lay properly on my nails. Why go to all that trouble when there is an already made solution for you? Notice when I place the sculpted tips on my nails, you can already notice the curve in my nails. They are not only very rounded from the right to left of the nails, but they also curve from the base to the tips of my nails. The sculpted tips have enough empty space to accommodate both of these curves. When you lay the tips on my nails and place them so that the Gelix tip is straight with my nail bed, the base of the Gelix tip sits neat and flush with the base of my nail bed, right up against the epinicium. This is the correct placement. The left and right side walls are covered and protected by the Gelix tip. The base of the tip is flush with the nail bed and the nail extension is straight and in the desired position. Now watch as I try to place a natural tip on my curved rounded nail bed. When I try to place it flush near the base of my nails, the sidewalls are exposed and the Gelex tip begins to kick up and point up and I cannot get it to be straight and parallel with the nail bed. If I try to cover the sidewalls and make the Gelex tip straight as it should be, the base of the Gelex tip kicks up and cannot be flush with the nail bed. This would not work either way because if the base of the Gelex tip is not flush, water will seep in, increasing the chances of developing a fungus on your nail. And also this is the most common reason why Gelex tips fall off prematurely. If your sidewalls are not covered, the structure of the extension will not be safe from stress and breakage. If the tip is not straight and in the correct positioning, the extensions will look very odd on the fingers. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully now you have a better understanding on how to use Opera Gel X products in your nail salon. We love to see your Opera Gel X nails, so be sure to tag us in your social media posts. We're going to be making new tutorial videos once a week about new products, Gel X, nail designs, and more. So be sure to subscribe to our channel for new Opera content. In the meantime, you can visit operanail.com to purchase your Gel X tips and other Opera products. 
See you soon.